Hello, hello, Canadian Sasquatch with a happy homebrew Wednesday. So, uh, right off the bat was my, uh, my uh, second all grain that I did this weekend. Uh, posted the video up already on that. Uh, did not go very well. Uh, my mash temperatures were way too high. Um, the various times were off and not a great uh, brew day, but it is boiling or uh, fermenting. And uh, so we'll see how that goes. That was my uh, gin ginger beer that I was doing. So um, if you want to know more about that, you can watch my previous video that I put up on that. Uh, what else is going on? I've done a bunch more bottling. Friday I bottled my uh, the barley wine kit that I did. Um, so I got that done. Uh, I'm trying to think. Uh, I think that's pretty much all that I've uh, done so far. Uh, I'm slowly gathering up all the ingredients and stuff for my next couple of meads. I got one traditional planned and uh, one uh, millimel planned. Um, I just gotta get honey for them. Uh, so I'm hoping I can do that Saturday, stop off at the farmer's market and get the honey that I want. I need about, need about a gallon of honey. Maybe I'll pick up two gallons just since I am running low on honey. So yeah, I should be able to get those going and I will video those kind of how to with uh, going through the stages of designing the designing the mead and how to process everything and put it all together and what to do and throughout the process because it will be about a year long process for the, uh, the Melomel at least since it's, uh, it's how long it took the last one to do that I did like this. Um, it will be a blood orange Melomel so I'm hoping for a nice red color uh, unlike the last one that I did, it lost all of its color. So, uh, um, so uh, I'm drinking water today because in a hour or so, uh, two hours I guess, I'm going for a four mile run. So, just water for now. There will be beer after the run, though. And there will definitely be beer for the actual homebrew Wednesday, which is tomorrow, since I do my videos on Tuesdays, because I have t time on Tuesdays. <clears throat> so, and tomorrow I will be, my project tomorrow will be uh, reinforcing my cellar shelves. Uh, I'm having some sagging issues. Uh, I'm going to grab you guys here and show you what I mean by that. So I can't really, maybe you can't really see it too much in there. This one here, you can kind of see how it's kind of sagging in the middle there. These shelves were supposed to be rated for a thousand pounds, but it's just quarter inch uh, particle board. And they're sagging pretty bad and I have a lot of liquids on there and I do not want them to go crash on me at all. So, yeah, uh, I will be uh, buying some plywood tomorrow, some half-inch plywood to replace those uh, sagging boards. I mean, it's just kind of scary since I have, like, that one's just full of beer. And then this one over here is full of beer and the mead that I still have left a bottle that I haven't had time to get to. And, of course, I still have... All these ones that need to be put onto shelves and so yeah uh, oh yeah and that's the other thing was uh, I did a wine kit here it's a simple Riesling um, and it's going blub, 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 blub. I did that on Sunday uh, my mom's coming down for a visit in March, 
and she is a big wine drinker, so I figured oh, I'll give a wine kit uh, a try. So that's my first wine kit. It was pretty quick and easy. Um, we'll see how mom likes it. She actually makes her own wine as well uh, from kits, just simple kits. Um, so, so yeah, that's about all that's uh, going on here. Um, so uh, I want to thank everybody who's uh, commented on my uh, my brew day video. Uh, it was uh, a lot of good info coming through. Uh, so thanks to everybody who did that. Uh, thanks to everybody who comments on all the rest of my videos. Thanks to all my subscribers. I'm up to 65 subscribers, um, which is just crazy. I never thought I'd have that many. So uh, we'll uh, we'll see how long it takes for me to get a hundred. If I get a hundred, um, that should be interesting. So yeah. So uh, cheers to all of you watching and liking and subscribing and commenting. And uh, happy homebrew Wednesday to you all. Whether it be beer, mead, wine, sauerkraut, cooking something up, just go do something in the kitchen, in your backyard, make something yummy. So, uh, cheers to you all. Be sure to have a pint of awesome. Um, yeah, I know I will later. Cheers.